Yes, it's a bad time. You just interrupted my wonder. The one long tank like they did in Gravity? Look, okay, okay, okay. What do you need? All right, uh, roast turkey, lettuce, tomato, mustard. Yeah, sun chips are fine. Look, could you just call me back in five minutes? Look, you don't... Okay, look. Uh, yes, I appreciate you do, do five minutes. Thank you. Okay, uh, what? Oh, uh, cherry Coke. Yeah, five minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Where was I? Oh yeah. <laughs> ding, ding. Well, they did it. I honestly didn't think it was possible, but the universe has actually managed to present us with a brand new, really good Rocky movie. And it's really a good thing in my opinion, because really, there hasn't been a decent Rocky movie since Rocky IV. Everyone seems to be on board with just pretending the Rocky V basically never happened. And Rocky Balboa was cute and a little clever, but didn't really bring anything new to the table. This not only has the prestige of being a brand new, really good Rocky movie, but it's also got the added bonus of Michael B. Jordan, who is becoming one of the best new talents that we have seen in a while. Not only that, he's paired up with one of my childhood heroes. The guy is still awesome. And even better, these two have genuinely great on-screen chemistry. I almost hate to say it out loud, but this might be a little miracle. The story follows a young man named Johnson, played by Michael B. Jordan, who is actually Apollo Creed's son. And for those of you who either don't remember or haven't seen any other Rocky movies yet, he's this guy. All you really need to know is that he tragically died during a fight in Rocky IV. Anyway, young Johnson is now all grown up and wants to make a name for himself, so he goes to Rocky Balboa to train him, which Rocky somewhat begrudgingly agrees to do. But as they train together, Rocky figures out that little Apollo Creed Jr is actually trying to accomplish something else. He's not just trying to make a name for himself. He's trying to prove something to himself and to the world. This is a beautiful, beautiful boxing story about friendship, legacy, the power of self-acceptance, and the importance of self-worth. The film's strongest aspect, as I may have already stated, is the chemistry between Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone. These are two really strong actors who are doing an amazing job together. They clearly had a lot of fun making this movie. And of course, visually and stylistically, it is superb. The film was directed by Ryan Coogler, who previously directed Fruitvale Station, also starring Michael B. Jordan, and also a very good film. He has a very good sense of time and space, pacing, tension, mood, and overall flow. There's never a moment in this film where it felt boring. Everything going on in every scene in this movie was very well directed and interesting. And of course, special nod must go to the cinematography by Maurice Selberte, who previously photographed The Wrestler, which I have not seen yet, but I am totally gonna see now. But of course, the best thing of the entire movie, aside from the chemistry with Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone, aside from the wonderful direction, and aside from the gorgeous cinematography, is the point that it has to say. Which I'm not going to spoil, but I will say, it is beautifully made. I cannot recommend this movie enough. If you haven't seen it yet, please go see it as soon as possible. Also, Michael B. Jordan, if you're watching this, you did a fantastic job in this movie, and I look forward to seeing more of what you have to offer. Keep up the good work, kid. We're all rooting for you. And uh, Sylvester Stallone, you are a childhood icon of mine, and I do enjoy seeing you in more movies. But could you please not do these? Please?
Ladies and gentlemen, I am the norm. Thanks for watching.